Hi, so I've just been deservedly told off for um, not doing an update video for ages on our renovation project here for the Travel Malarkey Camping Stop and Dream House uh, in Levka, Bulgaria. You can maybe see me there in the reflection in the telly. I am a real girl behind the, the screen. Um, I have a very good reason and that was that we didn't have any internet. So the paperwork for the property and everything has been taking ages to get done and that's that's really set us back um nothing bad just um you know boundary stuff with the the land up the back but it's it's meant that we haven't really been able to move forward so i haven't been able to get the internet in and all, all kinds of things just because we didn't want to move forward till we were organized but hey presto thursday was a amazing day i got um my vaccine done yay pfizer and it's right what they say about you know the internet signal and everything went went and got my vaccination done on thursday and friday the guys came and put the internet in so it really did give me an internet connection <laughs> Um, anyway, this is, I don't, I don't know what we said when we were here, um, <laughs> this is the main room, and uh, still living in here, and as you can see, it's a, it's just, yeah, messy. Um, this is one of the jobs waiting to be done at the moment, is to just tidy up some of this stuff here a bit more, but this is the living space, and um, this is a little electric stove for the, the summer. Um, our friends in the village, uh, Jules and Tony, he, Jules and Tony gave us this uh, fan, which is amazing. Um, yeah, we're making friends, and this is this is a living space. But it's summer now, um, so we don't spend much time in it. I don't spend much time in it because when I say we, I'm talking about me and Marley. Um, there's a kitchen, again there's stuff everywhere because don't have the storage, this is all um, just stuff that I've been clearing out and washing up, old glasses and things. Uh, shower room is still a, a shower room in waiting. Um, and this is... This is sort of food storage, and this is where everything that I'm working on winds up being. It's, as you can see, we've got um, loads of uh, peat, and there's bird food everywhere. Boxes and bags of bird food, which is uh, great, and paint. And I've got my citronella candles for the, the summer. And um, got a new, you can't see it because it just, but you see it down there. Got some new uh, insect screen up, which is just so exciting because I feel like I'm in an American movie just because I've got insect screen because we don't have that in Scotland really. And uh, to live somewhere where you can't have a door open without having it and you want the door open because of the heat, so it's great. I mean, eventually we'll have screen doors, but again, you know, that's for the renovation. Um, so some of my, a couple of my friends in the village, um, have a, a festival shop they go they go to the festivals and and they travel in india a lot and sell a lot of indian stuff so i, I got this off them it's hanging which is lovely and that's a tambourine we picked up in morocco so bits and pieces we've had in the van are out here now and this is i now have this uh, summer hangout here which is uh improving every day it's an old table that i've painted purple these are just sitting on it at the moment, but there's a box of these old tiles that I'm going to paint up and do something about the old well. And we've got flowers and things now. That's, uh, there's lots of stuff waiting to be planted. Like my tomatoes here, they need planted out. And there's, uh, I actually bought those flowers up there. Um, petunias. We've got some parsley there. And these are um, calendulas here and here growing up. There's boxes and boxes of old jars. So I've taken a few um, to turn into candle lamps. Hence, you know, to put all the citronella candles in. This, um, Jules told me about 
waspinators. Apparently wasps are supposed to not like them, so they stay away from them. As you can see, it's gorgeous and sunny. We'll go to the front and work our way back. So there's not much work been done. Um, patio is a, <laughs> the patio is a bit of a mess. Sunday I usually do some stuff in the patio. Um, this hasn't been done for a couple of days because my arm's been a bit sore from the, the vaccine. Nothing bad, but um, I've got some sweet peas growing up here. As you can see, there's, uh, the grapevines are all coming into being. And... Uh, I think these are tiger lilies growing here. This is way up past my waist already, this one there. Oh wait, see them uh, flower. It's in, it's, I'm really interested to see how tall they get. Um, I've got these gorgeous petunias. We've had tulips and daffodils and hyacinths and all stuff planted from the people before. And there's three grapevines over there. I'm kind of doing a look and see what it is thing this year so I keep I cut the grass and the weeds down every now and again and but not too much because I want to see I want to see what's here and see if, what we want to keep and I don't want to accidentally cut things down with some little plant here growing in among it and um, it's gonna be a really long video isn't it and the gorgeous petunias and um yeah, it's just I keep cleaning the render up, it keeps falling off. I've just got some paint through, um, sent through by a delivery truck from one of the hardware stores. Because um, Jay's not here and I can't drive because of my migraines. I, I get visual disturbance, so I'm not allowed to drive. Um, so I'm just getting a few things delivered. But we've got about another six to eight weeks before jay gets back wait and see what these are coming up it's just it's magical seeing um things that that come up there's a, <laughs> it everything just grows so fast so i'm constantly like cutting things down but i haven't got a strimmer yet and i've been using hand shears so it's like this was just trimmed two weeks ago and as you can see it's a, a total jungle again now and um uh, slowly slowly as they say in Bulgaria, Malko po Malko. Little more little. Or little by little, as we would say in, in English. So everything happens, Malko po Malko. And uh, it's mostly very hot now. I really do need to get out here and cut a few things down. And beautiful roses growing up there. See the trees are all coming out it's really beautiful and I feel like I do <laughs> I do hours of work every day and it just feels to me like it doesn't change anything we've got I've repurposed um water bottles for bird feeders so we've got quite a lot of bird feeders around the place and uh, this is my fig tree coming along here I've cut down some small trees that I think were just ones that had um, dropped and started growing, you know, from seed from the larger trees. And I can't really show you much more than the garden. The back field's really overgrown at the moment because we're still waiting for the... Just some, some final paperwork that I need to sign. in a week or two um, but we're waiting for somebody to come out of quarantine who's been in, in touch with a I don't know, I'm guessing they've been in touch with somebody with COVID because they're quarantined at the moment to get that done uh, so I've been doing some veggie beds this is uh, the next one being done here I was building raised beds but I just ran out of time so these ones you just um, it's a way to make a raised bed, only then these ones aren't raised because what you do is you would, you know, then fill it full of mulch and compost and things and, and build it up. But you just turn the turf over and make turf walls. So that's uh, that raises it up a little bit. 
So we've got um, beetroot and courgettes in there. There's a little bit of weeding needing done. I've got peppers everywhere because the pepper seedlings did so well that I had millions and I can't bear to um, throw them away. We've got carrots. There's uh, more carrots to go in elsewhere. Carrots and leeks and some onions in here that I did from seeds. So they're really small, but they're coming. And um, parsnips, just a few parsnips in here. I mean, I just basically like planted seed, you know, for seedlings during the winter. Lots of different things, just a small amounts of stuff to see how it goes. So the parsnips are in there and um, there's a little bit of lettuce coming there. I just keep popping lettuces in all over the place, lettuce and radishes. This is an apple tree. This was all cut back a week ago <laughs> and uh, it needs to cut back again. I think I've got some poppies coming up in here as well though. So make sure I don't cut them. Um, here and there you see among the grass and there's more to go in the sunflowers. So this was a tip that I got is to use sunflowers as shade. So yeah, as the summer gets on, it's going to get really hot. So plant some sunflowers around the beds and then as they come up, they'll provide a bit of shade. I think I've accidentally done miniature sunflowers instead of full-sized ones though. So I'm not sure how good that's going to be, but we'll find out. Um, there's some um, excess tomatoes in here from having too many tomato plants again I, you know i just go right i'll chuck, chuck you in somewhere and see what happens to you the ones that i should have thinned out and thrown away just some radishes coming this is cucumbers and the actual peppers that um i wanted in here and a couple of radishes as well there's radishes and lettuce everywhere if you just plant them in among other things got a few peas here and the the first lettuces I planted and the first radishes and a few random peppers as well and quite a lot of weeds but um, I've already had two or three radishes and there's some more radishes to be picked today and the lettuce as they come up I just take like a leaf here and there from plants so I just started, I just did that for the first time yesterday and um, they're just starting to get big enough I can do that now I need to come and put more string for my peas to grow and uh, yeah so I just like they're, they're still quite small but I take a leaf from um, four plants and that's enough for a, a sandwich and as they get bigger I'll be able to do more and that way the, the the lettuce keeps going growing instead of taking a whole lettuce and I just get fresh leaves when I want them rather than having the whole thing sitting in the fridge and over here I did cut down all those trees in the back field all the thorn trees um, and hopefully in the next few weeks oh I have to tell you here was so exciting like a couple of weeks ago Marley was barking like crazy and I came up and there was a massive snake um I ran to get my camera and then it had sensibly run away before I got to it but there was a massive snake up here and this is my walnut tree and I just love this it's so exciting you can see oh, I don't know if you can see if you can there you go walnuts growing on my walnut tree I just uh I, I can't go over things like that. They just it's just fun, fantastic. You know, and this uh pasture up here. So you can see right the way to the top now because the thorn trees got cut down. Um and I just I can't wait to uh get the diggers in and get it all terraced up. And you know, we've got to get licenses and all kinds of stuff in place it's going to take a while to do it all properly but hopefully in about a month's time we will have this will all be hard standing terraced individual terraces um, for the vans with um, somewhere to empty a toilet 
and hopefully maybe a, a plug we won't have electric as such but you know that people can just plug in and charge the batteries if they need to and a hose to get a little bit of water and and that'll be it for this year i think you know and then we'll be landscaping this will be the um games room hangout room here probably and this this gate will go this will be a fence here but this gate will go so that you will be able to just walk straight through from the camper stop and uh, these first couple of buildings here will be showers and then there'll be a laundry room as well and um but this whole area here all like cleared out i don't know gardens seating something nice barbecue area maybe and a little plunge pool down here in our garden that everybody will be able to use as well so that's that's it that's where we're at um it's like i've been talking for ages to show you not <laughs> not a lot of anything um it's been jay's been gone for over three months now and uh it's I, I'm really looking forward to him coming back because he's missing so much and the birds here are just fabulous there's one in at the table probably can't see it on the video there's butterflies just floating around your feet all the time there's tortoises and hares when you go for a walk up in the hills and it's just it's yeah just I just love it it's um mess 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 everywhere this has become it's really difficult to clean out the the sheds you know it's like where do you put junk or whatever and eventually i just gave up trying to make sense of it all so i'm just going through and everything that is going to be skipped i'm just dumping here and then we'll clear out all the sheds and all the junk will be here and then it can just all get picked up and go to the skips it's kind of like the only way I can do it that I could that made any sense to me. And that's it. That's that's all we've done. And uh, more. Oh, I forgot to show you the maze. This bit. This is my little overflow bit. So this is as well as the weeds. Oh, there's a beautiful grasshopper just jumped in there. Can we see him? I never know what this is pointing at. There's so many different ones here in different colours and everything. This is a pretty one. Um, so that's peppers in there and some peas, some uh, excess tomatoes and courgettes there and some newly planted maize there. So it's uh, I just planted a few more. And here is some maize and some sunflowers which uh, hopefully will grow. And it's it's just all experiments. So you see what happens to everything and uh, what grows and what I need to do. And everything's doing okay at the moment. How, what will be like when it's 38 degrees and no rain ever? I don't know. We hardly get rain at the moment. And this is just seedling still. I've got melons to go in. And these are flowers. And this is uh, savoury, and there's some thyme there, and some more, some more down here, and my seating place. I just love it here. Love sitting here. So this is like you just go indoors to make some tea and sleep now. You yeah, and every day is outdoors, and I sit in different seats depending on what I want to see. You can sit here and. Look out over the garden, look at that. That's my view. So I kind of move with the sun if I'm, you know, wanting to do stuff so that it's not in your eyes, which is great. And it's nice and shady in here. But still warm. So that's us. Um, quick update and I'll do another one in a couple of weeks when hopefully... We might have builders in doing some work. Yay. Right. Bye for now.